These are samples of two two-way push button. Spring return valve. It has a push button, valve body, and port shown. Ports are holes on the valve's body for air inlet or air outlet. Let's now see the animated view of the valve in action, the detailed explanation of the valve switching position will follow. You can clearly see there are two switching positions. That is, when the push button is pressed. And when the push bottom is released. When the push bottom is released or at the not activated position. The valve is said to be in its initial position. Let's us now trace the airflow path of the valve at different switching positions. When the valve is not activated. Compressed air supply to port 1 is blocked. When the push button is pressed. The valve is activated or switch over to another switching position. Port 1 is connected to port 2 and compressed air supply flow out of port 2. When the push button is released, the valve is deactivated or returned back to its initial position using the built-in spring. We call this action spring returned. From our previous explanation, we can see that there are two switching positions for this valve. What about the number of port? From the diagram, there are two ports or opening. They are port 1 and port 2. In conclusion, it is a 2 port 2 switching position valve. Or 2 slash 2 way valve. In short, 2 2 way valve. Let's us now introduce the use of pneumatic symbol for simplification purposes. Valve switching positions are represented as squares. The number of squares shows how many switching positions the valve has. Line and arrowhead indicate airflow paths and direction. Number of port can be identified by the intersection point on the horizontal edge of the squares or switching position. When analyzing how a valve work, it is important to remember to analyze one square at a time as it represent one switching position. This is the pneumatic symbol of the two two-way valve at its initial position as indicated by the lines outside the right square. Since there are two switching position, Two squares are used to represent the two switching positions. Each square has two ports on the horizontal edge of each square as shown the right square and left square. Note the number of port will not change during the switching since ports are air inlet or outlet of the valve. To completely represent the whole pneumatic symbol of the valve, we have to consider method of actuation, that is, how to activate the valve to get different switching positions. To add the actuation symbols, they are drawn horizontally against the vertical edge of the squares. For example, let us place the push button on the left square and spring on the right square. The push button is responsible for the left square or left switching position. Spring is for the right square or right switching position for returning the valve back to its initial position. Now that we have learned initial position. Switching position. Port. Method of actuation. Let's now put the valve and the valve symbol together to confirm our understanding. When the push button is pressed, the valve switches position. One should now analyze the left square of the valve symbol with the push button at its side. At this switching position, compressed air flow from port 1 to port 2 on both the diagrams. When the push button is released, the valve switches back to its initial position due to the valve internal built in spring. One should now analyze the right square of the valve symbol with the spring at its side. At this switching position, compressed air entering port 1 is blocked on both the diagrams. Finally, let's give the complete name of this valve we discussed so far. It is named 2 2 way push button spring returned valve.